A recent study shows that people who experience frequent anger could actually increase their risk of heart disease. Yeah, this is a really important conversation that we're going to have here. Dr. John Higgins, cardiologist with UT Health Houston, is here with us this morning to talk about this study. Doctor, thank you for being here. You're welcome, Sophia. Okay, tell us about this study because you made a good point. You said anger is only one letter away from danger. Exactly, and this study was on young, healthy individuals, Sophia, with no medical conditions at all. And after they experienced anger, their blood vessels tightened up. And we know from other studies that that, along with your blood pressure goes up, you get the fight or flight response with the yeah. adrenaline, heart rate goes up, your blood thickens, and this is associated with having a heart attack and a stroke. So, like you said, I mean, this is, uh, um, this is time, you know, to quote Elsa, to let it go. <laughs> so important to let it go because you also said that two hours after maybe they had a fight with someone or right. they thought, you know, somebody cut them off on the road and they were worked up, two hours. Yeah, it so it, it looks like that surge of all of those bad things and the things that happen to your blood vessels can last for hours. So this is not just in the moment. But actually, it's gonna you're gonna carry with you for a few more hours. So even more important to when you're heading to that danger zone of anger, let's try to do something to mitigate it. And this is healthier, younger people that were in the study. So talk about how this would affect someone who already has heart symptoms or right. you know issues with their with their blood vessels. Even more increase uh, in, in the other studies where they've looked at these individuals, Sophia, people that have cardiovascular risk factors like diabetes, hypertension, they're smoking or overweight or cholesterol, or they've actually had a heart attack or a stroke, their rates of going up and having another one are even higher and even sudden cardiac death, just dying suddenly, which is, you know, the worst uh, case scenario. Yeah. Okay, so how can we and I say we because I'm guilty of this too. How yeah. can we manage our anger if we get mad? You're feeling yourself kind of getting worked up. What is the best way to kind of tackle this? Well, I think the first thing is, uh, Sophia, to know if what your triggers are. There are certain things and then, then you focus on them and you say, okay, um, what can I, how can I think differently about that trigger? Mm -hmm. So for example, someone cuts you off on the freeway. Instead of getting angry at them, maybe you can say, hey, look, maybe they're in an emergency, maybe something uh, happened to their child and they're rushing to get to the hospital yeah. and then change it to compassion like, oh, there must be something really bad for them to do that. So. I, I, you know, I forgive them and that's okay for them to cut me off. Mm -hmm. Having positive thoughts about situations, uh, you know, they say you can either laugh or cry, <laughs> so choose to smile and <laughs> laugh when something really, really bad happens. And trust yeah. me, you know, it'll be better for all those around and often you, it'll spread your um, kind of good thoughts and, and feelings will spread to others around you. Having stress reducing uh, uh, behaviors. So whatever it is, that, you know, for me, it's ex and probably for you too, it's exercising. For uh, others, it might be yoga. For others, it might be just, um, you know, spending time with others or, you know, watching a fun movie, having a glass of red wine or whatever, but have your behaviors. And then, you know, what we talked about before, the reframing, always kind of think about um, alternatives to getting angry in that situation and, and think, go move toward more compassion or what, how can I help? Because oftentimes, you know, when someone has done something that makes you angry, something's underlying that as well. Right. So doing those things and, you know, worst case scenario, if you really, really do have anger management issues, it might be time to actually get into a program and there are experts to help you about thinking, about behaving and doing things because, you know, I, I mean, as you said before, Sophia, this anger is just one letter away from danger. Yeah. Okay, and um, really quickly before we have to go, doctor, what are some symptoms that if you're all of a sudden feeling as soon as you're getting angry, what are some symptoms that they, hey, we gotta go get checked? Well, if you are uh, really boiling up and you notice that you're getting really, really out of breath or you're getting chest pain or discomfort, or you know you might have some tingling or loss of sensation in a limb, 
it might be that you're kind of like, you know, getting close to a situation where you could have a heart attack or stroke or, or go into heart failure and probably you should get checked out at that time. And or, you know, your blood pressure, when it goes up really high, it can cause headaches too. Yeah. So if there's something a little bit out of the ordinary, definitely get checked out by your primary care doc. It might be that you're blood pressure is running high. It might be that, you know, other things that the anger is, ha uh, is, is affecting you and make sure to tell your doctor about things that are stressing you out and reach out for help. I mean, if you are, uh, you know, like for example, a single mom at home and you know, you're getting overwhelmed, don't, don't, you know, feel like you have to do it by yourself. There are, there are a lot of support groups and you've got to reach out and share the load. Otherwise, you know, don't internalize it because that's the worst thing for your heart. And yeah. I don't want to see you at the hospital, so. No, exactly, exactly. Dr. John Higgins from UT Health, thank you so much for being thank here you, with so, us. Thank you, so remember, keep calm, carry on, and have a happy heart. Yes, we love <laughs> okay. it. All right, thanks, Doc. Thank